I've been in the online business space for five to six years now. And throughout that time frame, I've made close to 6 million US dollars, which is roughly 1 million a year. However, for the first three years of that, I didn't really make any money. And I cycled through six different business models before I made any serious money or any consistent money. And when I say serious money, I'm sort of hinting at that 10K a month mark that everybody glorifies, everybody puts on a pedestal. And yeah, it's quite a comfortable amount of money to make to obviously start, you know, the journey of financial freedom. So in this video, I wanna run through absolutely everything I've done in order to make that money online, why it worked, why it didn't, and sort of just share everything. The last business I set up has been the fastest and the easiest to scale. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you exactly why. My first business. My first business was Amazon FBA. In 2018, I'd just finished school, I'd been traveling a bit, and I wanted to start my own thing. I wanted to not get a nine to five job. I was going to uni. I was like, what the hell can I do? How can I start a business? I started watching a few videos on it, and I was like, hell yeah, I can try this, I can do this. And at the time, I didn't really trust anybody on the internet, which is super ironic, considering now I have a coaching business, but I didn't wanna invest in anyone. I didn't wanna buy a course, buy a program, buy a mentorship. I thought, you know what, I can do this on my own. And that kind of plays into the naivety and the maybe cockiness of an 18 year old. But I simply bought one book. I think I paid 10 pounds for it on Amazon and that was it. And I just followed that book to a T. And I found acrylic paint pens of all things. And the whole process was quite laborious to be honest. I had to obviously find the product that I thought would be successful. I had to find a supplier in China. I had to design the product itself, did the import, had to pay for obviously the product itself, the shipping, shipping logistics. That was a nightmare. Obviously then get them to the UK, ship them to Amazon. There was so much like moving parts to this that could have gone wrong. And I actually think the naivety I had at the time of how hard or how easy I thought it would be definitely helped me because I didn't overthink a lot of it. I just sort of got the ball rolling, which I really recommend is the best way to do things. But you'll find out why I also recommend you should do your research to a degree first. I was naive. I thought, hell yeah, this is going to really work. And I actually ordered 2,000 pens. I initially wanted to order 1,000, but I was so cocky and confident that I was going to sell out that I decided to double my order. And a total of that was around 10,000 pounds. So I spent 10,000 pounds on acrylic paint pens, potentially the biggest order of acrylic paint pens ever. And I shipped them to Amazon, crossed my fingers, hoping that they were gonna sell like hotcakes. At the time, I didn't even have 10,000 pounds. I was working a job in a local restaurant and bar and I borrowed some money from my dad. Thankfully, you know, the fact he lent me that money, he's obviously been paid back since, but the fact he lent me that money is the reason I'm sat here today. So I'm incredibly grateful for that. But I ordered these pens, put them on Amazon and they started to sell a little bit. I was making some sales, but they weren't selling like I thought they would. And obviously the margins on such a product like this is like probably only get 30%. If you sell a product for 20 pounds, you'd be lucky if you made like five to six pounds profit. So you have to sell quite a lot of volume in order to make a decent amount back. And of course, I was already looking at the Porsches I was gonna buy, cause I thought, you know, I'm gonna be rich off this thing. But I wasn't. Um, I did in fact sell out of those pens. However, it was due to my own ignorance that I applied a discount code for a certain demographic of people that liked painting on rocks to buy my product at a discount, give me a glowing review and hopefully reach more people. However, the problem was I put that discount code on every single product cause I didn't know any better. And I sold out of all 2000 pens overnight whilst I was sleeping at a loss. So I lost all my inventory, all my stock, everything I lost. And that was the end of my Amazon empire. The lessons I learned from that was like, do your research, do your due diligence, start small, scale up. I had no skills. I didn't know anything about this business. I just naively went into it and thought it would succeed, which, you know, I'm very grateful for the experience there, but ultimately that wasn't any grounds or foundation to build a successful business. Very quick learn, this isn't gonna work. And obviously I started looking elsewhere. Which brings me on to the next business, which of course was an advertising agency. You know, after a short time, my YouTube started getting populated with loads of young guys having mad success with advertising agencies. And I thought, you know what? Like if they're having so much success, like the Amazon business. I thought, why can't I? Why can't I start a marketing agency and sell marketing services to local businesses? So I doubled down on that, but I did learn from my mistake this time. I went ahead and bought a course from a very successful agency owner at the time. And I learned directly from him because I realized that all the mistakes I made in the Amazon business probably could have been mitigated against had I worked closely with a mentor. Worked with this mentor and yeah, started to try and build an agency. So what I did was quite simple. I simply followed this course to an absolute T. Anything the course told me to do, I was doing, and I was doing it blindly. I wasn't really thinking about the actions I was taking. I was just doing like, hey, this guy's told me and this course is telling me to do this. I'm gonna do this. There was no thought pattern going on. There was no understanding of the reasonings why these things needed to be done. It was simply copy and paste. And I thought, you know what? If this guy's teaching this and this is what's currently working for him, well, if I just copy it to a T, then it's obviously gonna work for me and I'm gonna be as rich as him. 
here's of course that'll be the way unfortunately it doesn't work like that and i did have some success you know i landed my first client after taking countless sales calls in fact they weren't even sales calls at the time i was going into local businesses and i was randomly pitching my service of social media ads to them having no structure to my sales meetings having no structure to you know what the offer actually included i had no sales skills i didn't know what i was doing i was wearing my sixth form suit that was at this time now too small for me and i was crossing my fingers and hoping somebody's gonna buy into and in fact one person did um it was a local dentistry office nearby one of the neighboring towns i used to live in and i'm pretty sure that guy bought from me because he just pitied me he just realized like okay this kid's trying to work really hard at this and i'm gonna give him a shot and we did have quite a successful time with that client for around three to four months i think i was making like two grand maybe 1.5 grand a month from that client and i thought hell yeah i've got a business I didn't, I just had a client, but I lost that client because I struggle with dyslexia. Spelling's one of my weaknesses. And that guy basically said like, hey, there's some spelling errors in the ads. It's making us look unprofessional. We're gonna have to stop working again. Obviously, knowing what I know now, I could have salvaged that relationship and I could have fixed it and we could have continued working together. But at the time, that naivety, that lack of knowledge, that lack of sales skills, that lack of business knowledge, communication, everything, I just didn't even try. I just let the client go and that was that. And I was back to square one with a business that didn't have any clients, wasn't making any money i was none the wiser i didn't have any skills because i'd never taken the time to learn sales to learn marketing to learn anything really so after i lost that client the agency sort of took a back seat i was obviously my confidence was knocked i was a bit discouraged and yeah i'd always planned to go to uni to do real estate so that's what i did but whilst i was studying real estate in my first year i saw a lot of people have success with you know selling real estate investment um deals it's called property sourcing i started to look into that as an option to make money and i researched it. I didn't actually buy any programs or do anything like that for this, but I was researching it. I was reading books. I went to a couple house viewings and really, if I'm honest, I just totally half assed that business. I thought this is going to be easy. I can set this up. And I was just looking for a quick win, which actually falls quite nicely into the next thing I tried, which was drop shipping. You know, same as the property business. I was just looking for a quick win. I just wanted to make money now. I wanted to make money fast. I wasn't focused on the long run. I wasn't focused on the experience. I was like, how can I just make money online? And obviously, you know, it's very easy to see people making money online, especially the drop shipping guys that like flashing the cash, these property tycoons driving the Lamborghinis, these agency guys with their watches. Like, it makes it look so easy. But in reality, it's not as easy as you think. You have to think long term. You have to develop these skills. And I simply wasn't doing that with any of these businesses. So the property business, the drop shipping, they failed very, very quickly. They didn't last a long time. I made no money with the property business. I think I made like $30 with the drop shipping business. Um, and I only tried it for like two weeks to a month. And I just wasn't going at it. And I kind of thought these businesses, they're, they're not working because they can't work. The business itself can't work when in reality, it was me. I was the issue. I was the person that was struggling because I wasn't putting in the time and I wasn't taking time to learn the skills that were actually gonna progress and build something bigger than just selling a couple. I think we sold like dog beds or golf games or whatever, right? So those businesses failed incredibly quickly. It was only sort of in my second year of university that I realized like, and I started to think long term, I was like, hey, I don't want to get a graduate job in a real estate firm. I want to go and start my own thing. I want to have my own business. And that's when I started really thinking long term. And I realized like, I really want to give the biz this business thing a full shot. I want to figure out something. And I decided to take another stab at the agency route. I doubled down. I actually bought another course when in reality, thinking about it, I didn't really need to, but it held me accountable to getting the results. Um, and I was more stubborn this time. I stuck with it a lot longer and I really started to think about the long-term picture and the building the business as a whole. But my success was limited for quite some time with it still because again, I just didn't take the time to learn the skills. I didn't even think about how to sell. I didn't think about the kind of product we were selling, the social media ads, like why would someone buy from us? Like what's our offer? What's actually enticing? What's gonna help our market? Time it was real estate clients um, running them ads. And it was only when I switched perspective and I realized and I started to think like, hey, if I just focus on learning the skills and becoming the individual that can earn that 10K a month that I was held on a pedestal for three years at this point, if I just focus on the skills and the mindset and the traits that that individual needs to have in order to make that money, the money will come. So I doubled down for another 90 days and I said to myself like this is make or break I'm gonna lock in on this business I'm gonna focus on the skills if it doesn't work maybe I'll consider a grad job but for the time being I'm gonna put all my focus on learning these skills learning sales learning marketing and just seeing what happens that switch of focus changed everything for me like just simply by learning the skills I was able to scale that business to 10k a month in 90 days and now that business does 150k a month and I still have it to this day it's but yeah, three three years old now, nearly four years old actually. And none of that would have been possible. And you know, my situation would be very different had 
I not realize that, yo, I actually need to learn the skills? It's not necessarily about just following a copy paste course. It's about actually learning the skills needed in order to have success. And that's really what made the difference for me because I focused on the skills. I studied them, I worked on them. I got better at them long enough to see the success, which obviously brings me on to my sixth business or well, my sixth business venture, which is Club Closer, which is my coaching business. And essentially what this business is, it is literally just, hey, here's everything I did at the start that didn't work and why it didn't work. And here's what you can do to make that first 10K a month by learning sales. So we teach people how to land high ticket sales job, how to land remote sales positions and how to scale to that 10K a month mark in 90 days or less. Countless success stories out of that, countless testimonies, you can find them on my channel, but I'm not here to sell you that at all. I just wanna give you the raw facts, but, um essentially like from learning and from all my struggles with the agency i basically learned what is business well business is solving problems and if i can solve a problem for someone i can sell it so i learned how to solve this problem for people just by living it myself and going through the trenches of like i don't know how to make 10k a month i'm going about it the wrong way many other people were going about it the wrong way the same as me if you just switch to focusing and learning one skill you can have success a lot lot quicker so about nearly two years ago now i set this business up um, when the agency started to do super well and i've had it ever since and the way i set it up was surprisingly very different to the success i previously had like i launched this business having the idea in my mind of like hey we're going to help people land remote sales jobs and we're going to scale them 10k a month that was my pitch that was my product that was my offering i then went ahead and pre-sold it to 10 individuals 10 strangers without having built the product without having the show and the many student results we didn't have any student results at the time and i just said hey like i've got this experience in the business i've done all these sales these sales calls i've scaled sales teams let me help you land a remote sales job 10 people bought into me and they trusted me and we got them results and the business is scaled, you know, to 150K a month from that. Now that business went, I believe from zero to 10K, I think it took two months. And then in under two years, it scaled up to 150K. None of that would be possible if I didn't have sales skills. I was only able to pre-sell those 10 people on that business because I knew how to sell. If I didn't know how to sell and I didn't know how to proposition my offer within the market, nothing would have happened. And that's only possible because I went away and learned those skills. And obviously had the business experience at the same time in order to do it. So by taking the time to learn those skills, I've now been able to develop a skill set in which I've been able to start businesses quickly and scale them quickly just because I know what I'm doing. Whereas previously, you know, my first business, first business took me three years to make any money. The sixth one took me two months. So that's why it's so important to learn the skills because now I know that any business I want to set up in the future because I have these skill sets already, it will never be as difficult as that first time. And hey, it might even be easier to start than the, the club closer, the, the most recent business. So if I'd have known all that from the start and when I first started my first business, I'd have got there a lot, lot quicker. I'd have saved myself years and there'd probably be another zero on this title. But lucky for you, you know all of that. So you can take everything I've taught you here, you can apply it yourself and you can make way more money than me.